on, guys? Hang with me right now. I have Peyton and Jacob. Whoop, whoop. Actually, nice. <laughs> How are you guys? <laughs> so good. Yeah, not I'm freezing good. at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cold, you guys. For people watching, we are freezing. As, this is why I put this on right now. But you, I love your outfit, girl. Jacob He's really loved Hey! That was a hug for her outfit. Hey, we're interviewing here. <laughs> they love the outfit. Disrespect. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> they love the outfit. Yes. Do you love oh. cat calls? <laughs> <laughs> Well, as you guys have noticed, we usually are in the studio, but today we want to bring the studio to you. So thanks it. for being here. It's so here. cool. This is awesome. Yeah. First and foremost, congratulations, you guys, on Cobra Kai YouTube oh. show. Hey. Thank you, thank you. Well, how would you guys describe the show? It picks up, you know, right after uh, season one. Uh, it follows, you know, Ralph and Billy, Danny and Johnny Lawrence. It follows them after, you know, the big crane kick in the 1984 uh, karate tournament and basically just what their lives are like now. And it's very interesting to see where they end up and who they start influencing. And it's, season two is very much what happens when Cobra Kai is introduced to kids in this generation. Well, for people that don't know, it's based off of the original, The Karate Kid. So did you guys watch? Did you guys study that beforehand? Yeah, we were just talking about that. I had watched it as a kid growing up. So I watched it over and over as a kid. I watched that movie a lot with my little brother, and we would run around chasing each other, wanting to do the crane kick. That was like my relationship with the karate kid. <laughs> Well, that's so fun, too, because you guys are on a show where you guys can actually do some of the stunts, right? So how's yeah. that been? I didn't know the first thing about karate when I first came. My character is supposed to have some um, kickboxing uh, training before, so I, ha I had a lot to learn, yeah. but it was awesome. I did, like, years of karate, but I didn't remember any of it. <laughs> really? So it's pretty much like I had, so no, I had, like, no experience going in, and it's just a ton of stretching. It's so much stretching. Oh, my gosh. I, like, definitely pull my head yeah. back. I'm way too young for that. <laughs> it's, re it's a ridiculous... Hi. Uh... <laughs> It's, it's a ridiculous amount of stretching. Uh, we did a lot of training uh, before we got out to Atlanta where we were filming, and then while we were in Atlanta, we had this place called the Ice Box because the air conditioner was broken. It was freezing in there, and we were training there. It was freezing. And but to also freely be able to just, like, drag a girl by the hair and know how to properly do that without hurting her. Like, I have a oh, no. me dragging a girl, and I'm just like, I can't wait to post this and be like, drag her on the show. Drag her. <laughs> um, and I have a gift doing it. And there's just so many things that you would never be able to do. Like, we all were in hair and makeup getting, like, punches and scrapes yeah. put on us and there's just so many fun things that come along with it so do you guys think you would be able to like protect yourselves like if it came to be that <laughs> heck yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. come at me if the dude was my size and weight i would say yes <laughs> if if it was you know just a five eight and three quarters like you know 135 guy oof, I'd, I'd take him down <laughs> that's, that's, you just explain me i like i actually maybe an inch shorter than that but like way that so i'm ready <laughs> so awesome. I, yeah, I, I, I would take him down or so you can take me down <laughs> yeah i guess <laughs> Peyton, some of the writers, I want to pull this up so I don't say it wrong. Writers of the show are saying that they love turning a Disney princess bad, which is so cool. So I don't know, how do you personally feel about that? Oh, I love it too, because even going to the audition, I, I thought it wasn't mine, which is like not the what you should have going in, like not the mindset you should be in. But I just thought this is just something so different from what I normally play. And I was like, how do I even approach a bad girl? Like, how do I do this? And so I just went in the room and just committed to it because I thought it was so different than what I am. And in a way that makes it easier, playing something that's just so opposite, but it was so fun. And I think everybody has a little bit of what they're playing inside of them. And it's just like an alternate personality that I never get to show. Um, that was just so cool. It's one of my favorite characters I've ever been able to play. But yeah, they kept being like, here comes the Disney princess. I'm like, watch out. <laughs> I love it. And you guys are clearly like super good friends, you know, so I want to know any funny, mo oh, <laughs> I was waiting for someone to do an eye roll or something. Um, but any fun moments on set, like any weird stories you guys that you can share? Honestly, one of my favorite things is, uh, Oh, I can't give that much away, but there's one scene in the show where there's this very intense, long, choreographed fight, and it was just so much fun just going all out, and there's some people like, yeah, hit me super hard. I love it. Yeah, just hit us really hard. so weird. Yeah, I know. You're like, okay, like, I guess. Do you want me to... But no, that was really fun, just collabing with everybody and, you know, making that scene look really, really well. That, that was awesome. Why do you guys think young Hollywood fans should be watching your show? Besides you two starring in OBS. Uh, obviously. Obs. Obviously. I love that. I've never seen it before. I'm so used to using that. OBS. <laughs> I think if you're a Karate Kid fan, there's so much nostalgia that comes along with it, and it is so cool to see these characters grown. And I wasn't in the, involved in the first season, but just when I got the show and I went to watch it, I thought, oh, I'll go watch a couple episodes just to get a feel. And I got so hooked and ended up binge-watching the whole thing. It's so well done. There's so much heart put into it. I think the writers really, really care about the show and that nostalgia. So it's so good. Yeah. 
I think the writers do a really good job of making it very easy for people who have never even seen The Karate Kid mm -hmm. to love the show. Um, there is like a ton of uh, Easter eggs for like the really diehard fans in there because they are like crazy diehard fans. Um, but all of my buddies, I do a little screening at my house, like for all my friends. And uh, they all love the show. They're like, don't give me any spoilers. Stop like sending me pictures. Like, I don't want to know what happens. So I think it's really cool. Like anyone could watch it. You know? I was shocked how many millions of people have seen the show. Like when I oh, went yeah. to watch it, it's probably way more now, but it was at like 62 million when I watched it views. Wow. So it's just an insane amount. My brothers were like, you haven't watched it yet when I got the show. <laughs> and they're like, Jacob's amazing on it. Because they love Jacob more than they'll ever love me. <laughs> and so I was, it just was so fun to be a part of it. It's pretty sick. <laughs> I can't wait for season two to come out. Woo! Yeah. Season two. Woo. And on that note, I don't know, I want to share this secret with you guys. I'm a yellow stripe. Belt. Oh, Yellow wow. stripe. <laughs> Nice. Okay, that's one step up from white. <laughs> I like Just FYI. Um, but is there a move that you guys can teach me even sitting? Like with arms or something like this? Sitting? Yeah. All right. Hold the mic. Okay. Or you can stand if you want. You're not attached. So you're going to get in your fighting stance, right? Okay. And we're just going to do like, I think it's called a pendulum kick. You just go like this and you rock and you come and you kick and then you come back. It's a way to like get in and out. So you come in and you kick. Ooh. Yeah, bam. Come in. Someone's messing with you like, oh, what you want? Whoa, 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 what's up? That's right. I hope so. <laughs> in heels too. Yeah, you right. got it. You can do it in heels. I believe in you. Do it on so, Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> Kick me out. See this? See the window so, right here? I'm, wait, you I'm come ready to forward, go forward. Yes. So and you then move slide. your back foot forward. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> move it. Boom. I don't exactly. want to hurt the talent. That's the last live. Well, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. You guys are awesome. Thank Congratulations you again. Thank you for having us on your bus. I, th thanks Anytime. for coming to us. I yeah. wish you would always do that. You spoil us. <laughs> That's amazing. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Love you, thank you. Yeah. First time I said love you in an interview. <laughs> <laughs> We should pretend like it's moving like, oh, whoa, there was the bump. <laughs> Anyways, back to the interview. 